It's August the 4th, and this is your Pacific Palisades real estate market update. I'm James Respondek with Rodeo Realty. I'm coming to you from my offices on Via de la Paz in the village. Here is this week's important market activity. We have to start with a sale that has blown doors. It has entered a new stratosphere. At the top of the Riviera, at 1601 San Onofre, there is a sale for, are you ready for it? $83 million. It's a 20,000 square foot extravaganza built on, an, on a property that's almost an acre with views that are spectacular all across the bay and to the city and to the Getty. Some of the features about this property, for instance, there's a, a kitchen that was designed by Nobu. The luxury master suite is accessible by a retinal scanner, and if that's not enough, there's a retractable roof so you can stargaze at night. $83 million at the top of the Riviera. It, the buyer is purported to be in the cryptocurrency business. So let's gently come back down to earth. There's a sale in Rustic Canyon for a measly $25.5 million. I jest. It's a seven bedroom, 11 bath, 9,400 square foot home. And it's on over an acre. It's a compound with a kind of a farmhouse with really cool, sophisticated, modern sensibilities. Sold for $25.5 million. 14180 Rustic Lane. In the Riviera is a sale. For at 1117 Corsica, a six bedroom, eight bath, 7,500 square foot home, sold for $9.4 million. It's a 15,000 square foot lot. The house was built in 2010. It's a country French style. So let's go to the Alphabet Streets, and there's a lot of houses in the Alphabet Streets for some reason this week. 1226 Monument, a six bedroom, nine bath, Six, almost 6,000 square foot home sold for 6.3 million. It's on a 7438 square foot lot. Newer construction, a traditional style. Also in the Alphabet Streets on Fisk Street, 1116 Fisk, a six bedroom, seven baths, 6,300 square foot home. So uh, it was um, 6,500 square foot lot sold for 6.65 million. This is an immaculate Clark Remington Cape Cod. Clark is a great builder. I love his style. Also in the Alphabet Streets on Kagawa, like one of my favorite streets. I sold a couple of houses on Kagawa and I love it. It's a beautiful street. This is a five bedroom, five bath, 3,329 square foot home on a 86, 34 foot lot. Oh, I remember this property. It's a one story, it's a corner lot, it's a big lot. The house is kind of, you know, interesting, different, a little bit different layout, um, but a good value at $3,839,000. Also in the Alphabet Streets on Fisk Street, 1042 Fisk. A four bedroom, three bath, 1800 square foot home on a 5,200 square foot lot. Sold for $3,235,000. Also on Hartzell in the Alphabet Streets, 1055 Hartzell. A four bedroom, three bath, 2,500 square foot home. Sold for $3,225,000 on a 5,200 square foot lot. This was a very authentic Spanish built in 1930. So it's nice to have some of those. I love it when these older houses are still there because everything now is being torn down and built, building these beautiful, big, larger homes. But it's nice to see one stay every now and then, isn't it? 751 Hartzell also in the Alphabet Streets. This was a real entry level sale. Um, a three bedroom home, a little under 1,600 square feet. The lot was smaller, it's a 40, little under 4,200 square foot, sold for 2,252,000. What a deal. That is entry level in the Palisades. Let's go to the Huntington Palisades. I love this area. It's on the other side of Sunset. And this is on Pampas Ricas. It's a kind of a boulevard street in the Huntington. I love that street. This is a seven bedroom, 10 bath, big home, 11,607 square feet, sold for just under $11 million. Now this house, I remember, I, I've been in this house and it's beautiful. 
the, it's got like a 40 foot floor to ceiling Fleetwood doors that connect to the backyard um, with a massive kitchen and great room. And you're gonna love this, a 16 foot by nine foot um, Dolby Atmos video wall. So it's a TV watcher's dream. It was, it's very cool. Here's a sale on Las Casas, south of Sunset, for um, a five-bedroom home, 4,341 square feet. It's a, uh, on a 6,731 square foot lot. It's a Cape Cod constructed in 2018, sold for $5,295,000. Also in the El Medio Bluffs, it's 675 Muskingum. Here's a three-bedroom, two-bath. A uh, little under 1,300 square feet, kind of cozy. On a larger lot, 8,600 8, square foot lot. This was a this was a fixer developer property, sold for 2,325,000. That was a great buy for the size of that lot. Okay, let's go to some actives that are actually for sale, and there's only three here I see, so. You can see where that, what that means. A lot of sales and not too many new listings. Good time to put your house on the market. So let's start with Almar. That's in the El, um, El Medio Bluffs. 744 Almar is a five bedroom, four bath, 30, little under 3,800 square feet, listed at 4,695,000. This is built by Thomas James. And it's, the lot size is 60, almost 6,600 square feet. Also in the El Medio Bluffs for sale, 16032 Miami Way. A five bedroom, five bath, a uh, little over 4,000 square feet on a 5750 lot. This is um, a traditional by Clark Remington. It was built in 2007. The pr asking price is $4,195,000. And last but not least is a classic Spanish on Chautauqua, 1051 Chautauqua, back to, in the Alphabet Streets area. This was built in 1925 originally, and so it's got a lot of authentic charm. It's a four bedroom, four bath, 3,468 square feet, and it's listed at 3,995,000, sitting on a 6,948 square foot lot. You know, I also have some really cool off markets if you'd like to call me, I can tell you all about those. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you're looking to find the perfect home or sell your property for top dollar, please call me, I can help. I'll see you next week.